The Oregon Trail, the Wild West, 19th century. The Oregon Trail was a path traveled by hundreds of thousands, extending over 2,000 miles from the unsettled American frontier, from the Missouri River to Oregon City, Oregon. The origins of the trail lie within the Lewis and Clark expedition between 1804 and 1806. Following the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark were appointed by U.S. President Thomas Jefferson to explore and survey the recently acquired Louisiana Territory as well as the Pacific Northwest, a journey that would take them from St. Louis, Missouri to the Pacific Ocean. The years following the Lewis and Clark expedition witnessed the advance of fur traders into the Western American lands seeking to make money. As a result, they became the pioneers who established the Oregon Trail. During the 1830s and 1840s, the migration grew to a large scale as religious missionaries, hoping to convert Native Americans to Christianity, and settlers looking to build homes and farms on the fertile land in Oregon, took on the journey west. Among the first of the missionaries to blaze the trail was Marcus Whitman. Originally a physician from the state of New York, Whitman later found his calling as a missionary, venturing as far as Montana and northern Idaho to evangelize in 1835. Marrying Narcissa Apprentice in 1836, Marcus and his wife returned west, traveling to Oregon via wagon. The couple eventually settled at Wailapu, hoping to convert the local Cayuse Indians. Their efforts and the letters they sent back to loved ones prompted more missionaries and settlers to follow their lead. Whitman returned east in 1842 in order to convince the American Board of Commissioners for Foreign Missionaries to continue to support his missions. He was successful in this endeavor, and on his return to Wailapu, Whitman played an important role in what would be known as the Great Migration, where more than 1,000 individuals with 20 wagons stocked with flour, sugar, coffee, and weapons for the multi-month trek began their voyage. In order to avoid the harsh winter weather along the treacherous mountain passes, emigrants of the Oregon Trail ideally began their journey during the spring. Regardless, travelers were at the mercy of the brutal summer heat, desert dust, and erratic summer storms. Traveling together in wagon trains afforded the emigrants a relative amount of security. Furthermore, the circling of large wagon trains at night protected livestock and emigrants from the wind and prevented animals from running away or being stolen by Native Americans. Although deemed the Oregon Trail, there wasn't a single route taken by settlers, missionaries, and travelers in reaching Western America. Typically, as one of the most popular and traversed routes, travelers began their journey at the town of Independence or Kansas City, Missouri, and ended at Oregon City, Oregon. As the 19th century wore on, however, some stop-off points became the beginning points of the journey, including St. Joseph, Missouri and Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. Additionally, as more and more people continued to traverse the Oregon Trail, numerous forts and trading posts were erected along the way. Places such as Fort Kearney in Nebraska and Fort Laramie in Wyoming were built in strategic locations to protect those on the trail and to serve as resupply depots. Fort Kearney, for example, was located on the Platte River and was where several eastern trails merged into one. Trading posts, bridges, and ferry points also developed along the trail with time. Before the development of bridges and ferries, the crossing of a river was an arduous process. Often, people would float wagons and walk through the water, creating the possibility of animals, individuals, and possessions being quickly swept away. Even when crossing in shallow water, wagons faced the possibility of becoming hopelessly stuck in the mud. The first part of the trail, until they reached the Continental Divide, was more or less flat. The plains of Kansas and Nebraska were hot during the day, but cold at night. As travelers approached the more mountainous areas of the continent, they faced intense snow, wind, and rain regardless of the time of year. Aside from the weather, mountains proved incredibly difficult to cross on the Oregon Trail. The terrain was rocky and unstable at times, and animals struggled to pull wagons up steep inclines. People would often discard possessions to rid themselves of dead weight, leaving behind some of their most prized items in the interest of survival. Those on the Oregon Trail were able to surpass these dangerous trips through the mountains by a number of passes. The most important was the South Pass in modern-day Wyoming, which had been used by Native Americans to cross the Rocky Mountains for centuries. In fact, the famous landmark, Independence Rock, was used to mark the beginning of the Southern Pass. Many travelers set out with the intent to reach Independence Rock by July 4th to avoid snowfall. Not all sections of the trail were destined for Oregon, however. 
In fact, the Oregon Trail split off into tributaries of sorts, with the Mormon Trail heading south from Fort Bridger and the California Trail branching off into Idaho. Outside of the environment, the Oregon Trail was chock full of other dangers. One of the biggest issues was disease. Unsanitary water and traveling in close confines led to the rapid spread of dysentery, cholera, smallpox, and influenza. Accidents were another risk, anything from being crushed by a wagon, an accidental shooting, or an unexpected animal surge. Native American groups, like those initially befriended by the Whitmans, posed still another threat. The Whitmans were unable to sustain their relationship with the Cayuse, especially after measles wiped out large numbers of their population. The natives blamed the Whitmans for the disease, and some sought vengeance by massacring them in 1847. The conflicts between settlers and Native Americans led to increasingly hostile actions toward indigenous tribes, including the seizure of their lands and their removal to reservations. Following decades of mass migrations over the Oregon Trail, the need for the trail came to a halt with the establishment of the first Continental Railroad in 1869. Overall, the Oregon Trail proved to be a major factor in U.S. westward expansion, with over 400,000 peoples crossing the trail and its many offshoots. Hey guys, check out this Simple History merch on Teespring. There's t-shirts, mugs, stickers, phone cases, and much more. Link in the description below.